So we're on chapter nine, lesson two, and our essential question, how can I use operations to model real world fractions? And this is building on the models that we did yesterday. And if you still want to use those model tools, they are still available with that green box. It should. Uh, fraction tiles right here if you want to use those, but you don't have to. So back on our page, add like fractions. Think of adding like fractions as joining parts that refer to the same whole. To add like fractions, add the numerators and keep the same denominator, which is what we did with the models yesterday. So we've got one fifth plus two fifths. The denominator stays the same and we just add the numerators across. There's another example. So here we've got Pablo spent two sixths of an hour on a jigsaw puzzle. Conrad spent one sixth of an hour on the puzzle. How much time did they spend, work, spend working on the puzzle in all? Here's the equation we're trying to find. They did show us a model here. We've got sixths and we've got Pablo's two sixths and Conrad's one sixth. And that denominator doesn't change because our, we're still going to get the same parts of the whole. And then we get three sixths. What they're showing here is not something that's required for you, but um, it is a good thing to work on. Um, you can find a common factor of three and six. If you um, find the two numbers that multiply to be three, you'll get one times three. And if you do the numbers that multiply to be six, you'll get one times six and two times three. And since three is a factor of both of these, you can divide top and bottom by three and you'll get one half. Or you can just realize that three is half of six, so therefore it's equal to one half. So they're looking for you to say one half here, but three six is perfectly okay um, based on what the standards are for fourth grade. So that's that. Here's another model one where they're finding the sum of three tenths and five tenths. And they've got three tenths and five tenths and when they add them up they get this fraction which they then convert to simplest form here because eight and ten have, are both even so they both can be divided by two that's something you can practice to challenge yourself but it's again not a requirement for fourth grade standards so there's some practice for you and there was one thing I wanted to show you just a reminder about the unit fractions that were brought up in the last lesson. And what a unit fraction is, is when you're dealing with um, one as the numerator. So this divided up into unit fractions would be one fifth. And then the numerator would tell you how many times you need to write one fifth. And this one would be one fourth. And the numerator would tell you how many times you write one fourth. Remember, we talked about um, how one of the ways to say this, instead of saying three fourths, you could say three one fourths. So that's basically what they're looking for here. They want you to write each fraction as a sum of unit fraction. So that's where they've given you one line. Then the other line, it says, then write an equation to decompose the fraction in a different way. So finding two other um, numbers that will add up to give you this um, sum. So that is for what the second line is for. So you have two different um, answers for this for each fraction there. And then moving on to the word problems, um, we've got Marcella ate four tenths of a box of box of crackers last week. Then she ate two tenths of the box of crackers this week. What fraction of the box of crackers did Marcella eat altogether? It says to write in simplest form that I'm not going to require that. Just solve the equation. This one asks the question, what fraction of a dozen eggs when it's given you 12 here? So it's given you the hint, one dozen equals 12. So the 12 here matches the dozen eggs that it's asking about in the question. So solve that. Um, this one is sort of a two-step. I'm guessing some people skip over in their head. Bryce has to complete 100 minutes of writing every 10 days. He writes for 10 minutes each day. What fraction of his writing requirement does Bryce complete in five days? 
So basically he completes 10 minutes out of 100. So there's your first fraction. And then you need to do that for five days. So that's technically two steps um, to complete this problem. Please remember to write your sentence answers. You can divide your work section up into three parts and show your work over here. But this is for you to write your sentences. Please make sure you do that. Also, give a um, try to the hot problem and the essential question. Um, I know that they can be difficult and people like to skip those, but please uh, make an effort to get um, to get those done. Thank you.